Grade 8 math number 7.1a, this entire chapter is about solving linear equations, chapter 7. Okay, so here we go. Solving an equation with the variable on both sides. So it's the same variable on both sides of the equation. Equations with the variable on both sides can be used to compare prices or costs of real life situations. To solve these equations, we use the inverse operations to get the variable terms to one side of the equation. So let's look at this one. We've got an x on both sides of the equation. On this side of the equal sign, it's x plus 5, and on this side, it's 3x minus 1. Well, I don't know if you remember from seventh grade, but when we have a minus 1 on this side, we can add 1 to both sides of the equation, to both sides of the equal sign as an inverse operation to subtraction. See, we use addition. And that will create a zero pair here. Do you remember this from last year? And that cancels it out. Minus 1 plus 1 is a 0. Now the 3x just drops down, and 5 plus 1 is 6, and that x drops down. Now we have x plus 6 equals 3x. Now we need to subtract an x from this side, from each side, as an inverse operation so that x will be isolated to this side of the equation. So because this is a positive x, because it doesn't have a sign in front of it, we know it's positive. If it was negative, there would be a negative sign there. So this is a positive x. So what we're going to do is subtract x from this side and subtract an x from this side. And that will bring them all to this side, okay? So positive x minus x creates another zero pair, and these cancel each other out. And now we have 6 equals... And remember, we're going to take an x away from this side. So there's really a 1x there. Do you remember that from last year? 3x take away an x leaves 2x's. If I have 3x's and I take 1 away, there's 2x's left. So now our equation says 6 equals 2x. See? We subtracted 1x as the inverse of plus x over here, and it isolated the x's to one side. Now, because 2x is multiplication, the inverse operation would be division. So we're going to divide both sides by this 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 divided by 2 makes 1. So that makes that invisible 1, our famous invisible 1. Do you remember that from last year? And we have the value for x. It's 3. So remember that lone variable. Whenever there's a variable by itself, it's got an invisible 1 in front of it, okay? If you're really confused about that, I really advise you to go back to grade 7 math and look at the video 6.2b, and it explains about that invisible 1, okay? If you continue on and don't understand that, you're going to get into some trouble because we're going to use that invisible 1 many times coming up now, all right? Okay, Chris needs to rent a van to pick up a sofa from his mother's house. No, Chris, you really do need to get this sofa out of here. You promised. But anyway, Company A charges an initial fee of $20 plus an additional $30 per day to rent a van. And Company B charges an initial fee of $36 plus an additional $28 per day. So on which day will the fee be the same for both companies? So A is 20 plus 30 a day and B is 36 plus 28 a day. On which day will the 20 plus 30 per day be the same as 36 plus 28 per day? So for the per day, we're going to make an X. We can write an algebraic expression for each company. Company A charges 20 plus 30 per day, so X is going to be that per day. And however many days, we just multiply it by 30. See? Company B charges 36 plus 28 per day. The per day becomes an X and we have 36 plus 28x. See? Now we can put the two expressions together with an equal sign in between them as an equation that can be solved to find the number of days until the total cost charged by the companies would be the same. We can solve for x. So now we've got 20 plus 30x equals 36 plus 28x. The first thing we're going to do is try to get the variables to one side. So because there's a plus 28 here and this one is a bigger 30x, we're going to take away 28x from both sides. That'll create a zero pair here, won't it? 
a positive 28x minus a 28x will create a zero pair and we'll be able to eliminate that. When we do minus 28x from this side, we're going to get a 2x. So now our equation says 20 plus 2x equals 36. Well, now we need to get the numbers to one side. Because this is a positive 20, we can take away 20 from both sides. This will create a zero pair of the positive 20 take away 20, and that cancels out. And then 36 take away 20 is going to leave 16, and we've got 2x equals 16. See? We subtracted 20 from both sides, and we isolated x to one side, to the left side. Now, because this 2x is multiplication, we're going to divide by both sides as the inverse operation. We're going to divide 2 by 2. And what happens is, this creates our invisible 1. 16 divided by 2 is 8, and we've got x equals 8. See? So we have the number of days when both companies cost the same, at the 8-day mark. So, look at this. Company A is a better deal if renting for less than 8 days. All we have to do is plug in the number of days into the x. 30 times 1 is 30, plus 20 is 50, so day 1 would be 50. And if we plug the day number into here as x, we can see all the values of how much it would cost per day. Look at day 9 and day 7. Day 7 is $230 for company A. Look at day 7 for company B. It's $232. It's $2 more. But look at the price for the day 9 for company A. It's $290 where for B it's 288. So if you're going to rent for less than eight days, company A is a better deal. If you're going to rent for more than eight days, company B is a better deal. See? So he should use company A and get that sofa from his mother's house. Now, if you're very confused, my advice is to go back and watch three videos in grade seven math in the playlist, 6.2a, 6.2b, and 6.2c. Those three little videos, and they're not that long, are going to clear everything up for you, and you'll be able to move forward, okay? All right. I hope that was helpful. We're going to continue on with this topic, and we're going to talk about writing a real-world situation from an equation, sort of like what we did this time, okay? We're going to continue on and build on our knowledge, all right? I'll see you in 7.1b. Bye.